written by Sandra Markle and illustrated by Alan Marks. Little Lost Bat. It's a warm June day in central Texas and high on the doomed roof of Bracken Cave, so far from the cave mouth that it's almost too dark for shadows, one little female Mexican three-tailed bat clings tightly to the ceiling with her toes and wing claws, poked into cracks. Then she curls her body into a hammock shape. It's time for her baby to be born. Even though the rock cave is as huge as a cathedral, it's steamy hot from the body heat of millions of female bats packed close together. And it's shockingly noisy from so many bat voices. The sounds are made even louder by echoes bouncing off the cave walls, ceiling and floor. Yet all the while she labours. The little female calls No matter that it's noisy all around her, she's only calling to one listener, her baby. And the instant he's born, naked pink and tiny as a peanut in a shell, she folds up her tail membrane to keep him from falling, down, 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 to the waiting hungry beetles on the cave floor. Then the little bat, nudged by his mother, crawls up onto her chest, clinging to her fur with tiny hooked claws. There he finds a nipple and tucked beneath her wing, he nurses. During the day, the bat's little mother is only as far away as her roost. She rests among all of the other mothers and she flies back a few minutes, a few times a day to her little bat to let him nurse. The babies huddle together and wait for their mothers to return. A snake lurking at the entrance crawls across the cave ceiling and snags a baby bat for dinner. Still there is safety among the great numbers. But as the day ends, some inner sense lets the mother know it's time to leave the cave and hunt. With no partner to help her, she has to feed herself as well as her baby. So the mother bat joins the millions of female bats racing out of the cave. The cloud of bats explodes into the twilight and dark fireworks. Hawks hunting in the sky catch a few of the mothers. The females forced to spread out to start hunting, zip this way and that. Each nursing mother needs to eat nearly her weight in insects before the night is through. Flapping hard, the little bat's mother shoots bursts of high-pitched sounds from her mouth and she listens with big ears turning to catch the echoes bouncing back. Analyzing these in a flash, she homes in on a moth. Slap! She sweeps her prey toward the body of the wing stroke. Next, she scoops it up, using her tail membrane like a catcher's mitt, and ducks her head to gulp down the bug. Hunting this way, she eats her fill of moths, beetles, and a few mosquitoes. But the mother bat never flies too far from the cave. Between courses of her insect feast, she goes home to the rocky roost where she left her little bat. The minute she lands, dozens of hungry, naked, pink baby bats push, shove and crawl all over each other, trying to reach her. Each cries loudly, pleading to be fed. Among the crowd of babies, the little bat listens for his mother's call. And hearing it, he calls to shh, 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 At the sound of his soft call, his mother calls from the crack to the crack across the ceiling, through the back of the crying baby bats. His scent and her own scent rubbed on him, helps her find her little bat. She covers him with her furry warmth and snug between the smooth rock and his mother, the little bat tips his head back, finds a nipple and nurses. The days pass this way, one after the other, for just over a week. The mother leaves the little bat while she hunts and sleeps. And in between, she cuddles him and lets him nurse. So the little bat grows bigger, safe in the big cave under his mother's care. And he starts to grow his first fur coat. 
Then one night, the mother's bat hunting flight takes her skimming past a tall oak tree. Suddenly, just as she catches a moth, a shadow high up among the leafy branches moves. And when the shadow takes flight on great pumping wings, the moonlight reveals it's a barn owl. Fast and silent, the owl swoops in hot pursuit. Always alert to danger, the mother bat quickly senses the owl. She flaps hard and turns sharply, but the owl's big black eyes and its ghost white face track her every move, and the owl chases after her. Then plunging through the night, the owl thrusts out its long legs and spreads toes tipped with slender claws to snatch the mother bat out of the air. That night the little bat waits and waits and waits, but his mother doesn't come back to him. Each time he sees a female landing by, he scrambles towards her, but each female pushes him away to claim another baby. Not one of them is his mother. Once, when he's pushed, the little bat slips, but he grabs onto the rocky ceiling just in time to keep from tumbling down, 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 to the waiting hungry beetles on the cave floor. The little bat cries for his mother and crawls across the cave ceiling, searching for her until, exhausted, he sleeps. When he wakes up hungrier than ever, he searches for her again. For three days and nights, he searches and he cries for her to find him. Finally, when he's quite close to the cave mouth, the little bat stops, clinging tightly to a crack. He stares at the bright night sky while he shivers from hunger. All at once, he hears the flapping of leathery wings coming closer. Frantically, the little bat cries, shh, 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 shh. Then a female bat lands next to him. He cries again, but the female doesn't answer, and the face he sees studying him in the moonlight is not his mother's. For three days, his mother bat has been searching too for the baby she left almost exactly at this spot but she's never been able to find her baby. Now the female bat calls, choo, 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 choo. It's not his mother's call, but the little bat answers her anyway. Instead of pushing him away, she covers him with her furry warmth, holds him snug and lets him nurse. And all the while, she keeps on calling softly just to him. Choo, 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 choo. And while the little bat is tucked beneath her wing, she rubs him with her face, her lips, her chin. This way she marks him with her scent to make sure she can find him again among the millions of baby bats growing up together. Safe with his new mother, the little bat calls once more, just for her. And falls asleep. What a lovely story. Little lost bat.